better not be starting video by me already. Or I'll just switch the bloody camera on. Right, so anyway, what we're doing today in Dave's master baking session. Well, it won't be much of a session because I uh, seem to be running out of here. I've been down at the cellar, but stocks are low, I've had to catch me on. What's this in? Oh, money. Actually, not tell me on it, is it? No. But I can't make much of this. Oh, oh my god, I'm in a tangle already. You know, I'm missing it. It's too enough. That's it. You've got to be careful with these big ones. Right. Well. Oh, what little birdies in the bird bath. Anyway, you better not be starting video bombing me already. I'll only just switch the bloody camera on. Right, so anyway, what we're doing today in Dave's master baking session. Well, it won't be much of a session because I've uh, seem to be running out of beer. I've been down at the cellar, but stocks are low. I've had to catch my own. Now you're wondering what I'm talking about, aren't you? So anyway, but first of all, I'll just tell you what I'm making today in the master baking session. It's honey mustard baked chicken with potatoes and bacon. It's a one pot job, basically. Well, it is once you've done the parboiled potatoes. Uh, um, what did I do then? I turned... <clears throat> Turned it off on by mistake. Yeah, so I'll just switch that on. And I'll quickly run through what the ingredients are. I've got everything set out here virtually. Um, I'm not really good at maths. I had, I've managed to get the bacon split it in three halves. But I'm not too sure. I'll have to have a check on that how it works with the recipe. But basically, uh, well, I'll put a link in the description below so you can follow that and you, you can put in how many people so if you're just Billy no mates and there's only one of you, you can put one or if you've got well there could be a family like one across the who's no there could be 12 of them I suppose Oof, no, I'll cut that out uh, yeah so if there's only one of you then you can put one in so you can put the quantity of people and it comes up with you know Nadji has progressed in her recipe. She's gone on to using imperial measures and um, stuff like that and gives you both imperial and what's the other one? Whatever. Uh, but on this one it's cups. So I've had to do a bit of like googling and converting it from whatever. So, like I say, I've got three halves of bacon ready. Um, potatoes are on. And, yeah, so you basically, you parboil some potatoes, cut them into pieces. Not quite as big, maybe, as you would do your roast potatoes. But then again, I don't know how big you do your roast potatoes, do I? So. Anyway, so then you've got chicken. Now, the recipe is for chicken thighs. And I love chicken thighs. But somebody else doesn't, so I'll be out of them. Um, I think it's the texture she doesn't like because the, the flavour is miles better chicken thighs, in my opinion. So, and it's bacon, garlic, and half of an onion, finely diced. And then you've got a mustard sauce, which I slightly cocked up with. But I think I've managed to um, redeem myself. Now the mustard sauce is hundred for this is for two people and it well basically I'm not going to give you the quantities. It's white wine. Uh, and I haven't been able to drink any of that because there's only just enough. I've got some white wine in there, which is what I cocked up with basically. Um, Dijon mustard, honey, 
some dried thyme, a little bit of milk or cream, and some water. Now in there, that's all that, but I started to pour the white wine in it and I thought, hang about, I'm sure I've read that you have to use a bit of the white wine in the pan after you've done the onions. And yes, so luckily I managed to save some. So as the potatoes, if they ever, ever are going to start even boiling, times it now. Checking up on me, hey? Behind me back. There's a couple of things I want to talk about actually. Oh, she's multitasking, watching Merlin and on her phone at the same time. Um, right, where was I? Right, so anyway, as the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to show you my pond and when I were out there earlier on and I caught a few. Um, so yeah, so I'll show you my pond and my fishing. Now the thing is I have mentioned this in another video but it's a Norfolk Broads lockdown one so you might not have seen that. But I'd started to dig and all in the back garden. I've had the lawn, I'll, right, this is, I'll try and cut it short, but the lawn has peed me off, talking of pee, that bloody dog, where is it? She pees all over the bloody lawn and kills it. I spent, I must have spent about 200 quid on lawn seed and feeding and even we put some, got some strips of turf down from Kim and Sam that they had left over and I put that down. But another patch comes where she pees all the time, a little, <laughs> So now I bought some pea fix and I tried that and that's not worked. So I thought, well, I'll dig it up. So I started digging and all and I, I thought, hmm, think about it. Dig this a bit deeper and a bit wider, a bit longer. And then I looked around and I thought, oh, hang about. There's an house there, there's an house there, there's an house there. Next door that way, next door that way. Somebody's bound to see me dragging the body out. So I thought, oh. No. So I've, I just kept digging and digging and made it bigger and bigger and anyway I've got myself a little fishing pond now which you will be able to see any time now. <sighs> well, oh god I'm in a tangle already. Be marvellous in it. Let's turn that off. That's it. You've got to be careful with these big ones. Right. Well, I'm quite happy with this. It's amazing what you can catch in your own back garden. Oh, oh, oh bloody hell for you. Jesus, that's a big one. Oh, the missus, that is a big one, isn't it? Oh, God. What have we got now? Oh, dear, it's going to break me rod. Oh. Oh dear, I need a net. Let's see if I can swing it in. Oh, oh, oh! No, I'll have to land it. Oh, oh! It's that big. It's nearly collapsed my seat. Look at that. Yeah, shafts. Uh oh. It's trying to get away. Stay there. Schoolboy error. Oh. Yeah, schoolboy error. Always have a landing net ready. Oh dear. Well, thankfully, I've got it onto the banking. Let's check it out. Oh, it's well hooked. Mm. Yeah, well, wow. well, it's a mm. different than what I've had already. 
early on this morning. That's a, a dark fruit. Harder fighters then. They might seem sweet to look at. I've also had a Strongbow original. They were easy to go down them. You can pull them out for fun. And Strongbow cloudy apple cider. It's well stocked up this pond. So anyway, I saw some geezer. Well, I read about it in some book somewhere. That uh, <coughs> he walked on water. Now I, I can't get around there because there's a bloody big thing in my way, so I'm going to have to attempt it. Breaking news. Let's just see what's breaking news first before I attempt to walk over there. Oh. How's it going? Oops. Oh, question time. <coughs> from a member of the public to Dominic Rob. The question is from Anonymous from Ashbury and she says could you not have relaxed lockdown last week when it was sunny because this weekend it's going to piss down. And oops, what's Dominic's answer? Well, thank you, Anne. <laughs> Anonymous. Thank you, Anne. Um, that's a very important question. Hmm. Um, now, we don't just. Let me see, I'll have to read it out to you. Uh, we don't just follow science uh, with this coronavirus, we also follow the weatherman and not Michael Fish. Now talking of weather, it's going to piss down any minute now. Um, so we follow the weather and if we'd allowed everybody out last weekend then there wouldn't have been mass gatherings all over the place and when the coronavirus second wave kicks in we'd get blamed so now we point the finger back at you lot all you complete balloons who was on the beaches all you complete balloons mass gatherings protests rioting how many more people are going to die because of that hmm. anyway so that's what he's saying anyway right so anyway i'm going to try and get back in the house now without drowning. Sure. Um. Mm. Oh, it's not too deep here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Christine. Christine, get me a towel. Get me a towel. Right. What do you think of my fishing pond? Here's one I caught earlier. There, there. That seems a bit hot. Alright, concentrate. This is where things can go tits up when I'm trying to do five things at once, plus have a drink. Right, so parboiled potatoes, it's over here, I don't know if you can see that, but they're over there. So basically, all I'm doing now with them leaving them there in the pan some bit of pepper some salt and oh, just before I do that I'm whapping the bacon one of the three halves of bacon is going in here now you see what's happening with this is 
obviously I know they're in three halves. So this is like one of the four halves. No, this is half of the bacon. So you cook half of it, but the other half you don't cook. Because that goes on top of it all when it goes in the oven. So now we like smoky bacon. Use whatever bacon you want. But it's on a medium I eat, but you see it's still pretty high from before. So you've got to be careful with that. But in the meantime, <coughs> sprinkle some olive oil on the tatties. Right. See what I mean? We're in definitely got tits up if I'm not careful. So I'll sprinkle a bit of that all that tatteroon is. Now then, the boss has told me I must use Desiree potatoes. We've got Mary's Piper and Desiree, but apparently the Desirees hold their own better when they're being cooked like these are going to be cooked. I don't think Nadji give me a preference. Just says potatoes. Now then, a couple of things that I want to talk about today. One is freckles. Well, it might be a bit random. I just woke up this morning thinking. Why do they say freckles are a sign of beauty? Who come up with that? Is it some ugly bird or well, bloke? It's better not be sexist. Um, some ugly person who decided that they would say that they were nice. Now, the reason I'm questioning this is because I haven't got one freckle. So how does that work? Eh? If it's a sign of beauty, why am I not covered in them? Doesn't make sense. Oh shit, I've done it again. Switched everything off. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Multitasking. Anyway. So I'm just cooking this off basically now, this uh, bacon. A few minutes. I do like the smell of smoky bacon when it's cooking, don't you? No? Alright. Lovely that. So it said 1.6 garlic cloves on this recipe. Mm. So I put three in. So that's near enough, isn't it? And it says one, 0 0.4 of an onion. So while I've gone a bit closer with that one, I put half of an onion in. Well, I haven't done it yet. Right, so like I say, I'm just basically cooking the bacon. And then I'm going to whack that on a plate with um, just with some... Uh, what's it called? Kitchen paper thing. Oh, a bit of that. This stuff. Right. What do you use if you run out of toilet roll? Yeah. Rip, it, rip it in half and then just lay it over the roller upstairs and then it's right, isn't it? Right, so cook lightly until browned. What time is it? Well, to four. We usually have our Sunday dinner at four o'clock. This has got to be more like five o'clock. It's got about forty minutes in the oven to do. Now, with that is for chicken thighs, though. So this, see, because I'm having to use chicken breasts, I've got to wing it a little bit. And God, anything can happen. We've got some butter chicken in a packet in there. I said, come on, don't just do that, it's a lot easier. Right. She said you wouldn't be a master baker then. Mm, fair enough. Right. 
We'll call that done. So I'm going to that's well. I'm going to whack that out of here. Hey, it's not live this is it? I'm getting bloody beeped on my phone, Facebook, jokes and all that sort of stuff. That's where I get my material from. Oh, Wendy has been commented on your post. Which one's that? Well, I knew Wendy husband is, mate. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Something laughing on its back, whatever that is. Wendy husband, my cousin. So the thing I put on Facebook this morning was it was exactly 10 years ago. It comes up on your memories, doesn't it? Oh God, I'm never going to get finished. And Drew S has sent me an attachment. It was exactly 10 years ago that my good friend John came running out of the room with tears in his eyes. It's a boy, it's a boy, he cried. He's never been back to Thailand since. Yes, yeah, so I put that on Facebook and then Gwen Richards has got a cuddly thing, whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is. And uh, I'm trying to work out. Well, it's one of them ha ha stickers. It's a fox in it. Yeah. I don't know what Gwen's is. Gwen's is. Oh, God. I don't know what them are. Now then, what's Drew come up with? Oh, shit. I'm on fire. I'll have to show you that one. Can you see that? We'd rather go naked than with fur. Finally a protest I can get behind. <laughs> I don't know, the one he sent me before is really funny, but I, can't, I haven't got time to tell you that one. Um, yeah, so this is where I get all my material from basically, Facebook. Oh my god, what's happened? Oh, below 100. Oh, let's all go partying. There's only 100 died. Or oh, less than 100. Nobody in Scotland. Oh, my little pudding. <laughs> Archie's learned a new trick. That was woman out, he's jumping off the bed. <laughs> right, come on, let's get on my tea. She's good bloody mad, where am I up to? That's another thing. I'll talk to you about what's going on in that. Uh, dog's having a, a mad five minutes with its toys. Right, turn the, add the chicken. Right, so you see, I've got the chicken here already diced. Now, like I said, it's supposed to be. Um, it's supposed to be chicken thighs, but so season the chicken with some salt and some zip pepper. Oh, a bad time to run out of pepper. Oh, no way, man. Oh, it's put me right through the mill, hasn't it? Got another one here, but that's empty as well. I'm gonna have to fill them up. Hang about, I might be able to get that. Oh, yes. That'll do. Dogs are throwing a wobbler. Right, so we've got the chicken, and I'll put a bit more oil in there, I think. Just to um, be on the safe side. Now, actually, no, I guess. I was gonna go completely off piste and use some garlic butter, but. Better not. So let that get warm a minute. That's bad, that, isn't it? White wine, I'm not a load of white wine. Yeah. So. That bloody dog, you know, went, got the chicken out before. Door was shut over there to the living room. And I'd only gone to the, I mean, 
of the fridge in the utility room to get the chicken out and when I come back she sat me out the door waiting for the bits that I cut off you know they're fatty bits do you she's a bit funny about the fatty bits yeah. um, I have to cut every little bit of fat off virtually well not every bit because it's impossible isn't it but um, so the dog gets a good treat where is it with me I'd probably just chop all bloody chicken up and whap it all in never mind about the bloody fatty bits alright so now we're just sort of sealing the chicken really so I'll just turn you off a minute you mean I turn you off all the time cheeky sod I'll just turn you off and then I'll come back to you once the chicken's sealed oh, right I'll have two more to drink I don't know whether you heard that or not. Right, now, you see, this is where I'm having to go off piste. Because it's telling me, you know, if you have chicken thighs and you just like cook them for a bit, chicken thighs have quite a bit of fat on them, don't they? So you're supposed to pour half of that fat off over your potatoes and then cut your onions in the fat. Well, chicken breast don't have much fat, especially when you've had to cut it all off. Um, so, I'm having to go off piste, so now I'm going to use, I'm, I'm tearing up the recipe book, well not quite, I'm whapping in some garlic butter, I'm letting that melt, and then I'm going to cook the onions, my 0.4 of an onion, is it 0.4 or 0.6? Not quite for an onion. Yeah, so I'm going to cook that. So I've got the chicken now. I took it out and I put it on a plate over here. Look. So that's going to go back in because it's an all. Other than you're doing your potatoes in another pan, par boiling them. It's a one pot jobby. Um, have I done that? What's that? I need to get my pond stocked up as well. I asked somebody to go to the uh, aqu local aquarium to get me more, but oh right, yeah, wear me up, good style. Not speaking to her. Last night we was on a Zoom call, thingy, whatever it is, meeting. We've been doing it uh, each Saturday, and it's supposed to be got quite a few of the family. Now, actually, while I'm on that subject, if you are my family, you're watching this, and I appreciate that there's good reason why some of you couldn't turn up but surely it can't just because of Paul the rest of you are not turning up surely to God he's not that bad but hey there was a bit of technical problems last night we were actually on there for three hours those of you that said you was playing cards and you didn't want to lose any more money you wanted to win some thank you Colette um, three hours we was on now at first it was asking well Mark had some problems with the audio it made him look a bit stupid really so just to, so he wouldn't be too embarrassed I did the same thing just so he did think that it could be a technical thing you know because we couldn't get the audio going so I pretended as though I couldn't either right so anyway my onions going in I hate it when they do that you put the bag over the red all oh, right yeah that's another thing um, that I want to talk to you about. I know it could you, it could be taken two ways. This really. <coughs> Just watching now. Uh, some adverts on. What's he on the phone? And it just made me think. You know the saying: a woman's work is never done. Well, she can't hear me so I'm safe, it's only when she watches the video I might get a crack, but 
do they mean? See, right, let's, let's... A woman's work is never done. I can't, I can't even word it, so it's right. Right, so it, it can mean that there's always something else for her to do. Poor woman. There's always work. Or does it mean a woman's work is never done? Because she's sat on her ass all day. And I'm not saying that's my wife. No chance whatsoever. Am I that brave? No, no, no. Am I that stupid? Possibly, but not at the minute. Right, so in the garlic. In with the garlic. And then... We're just frying the onions off a little bit, not too much. So that's another thing. Um, she likes them a little bit soft, she doesn't like them too al dente. But like I say, Paul's not that bad. Hey, he's a bit of a guy. Well, he's a bit of an all rounder, is Paul. Hey, he was um, painting, and he took us around the garden. But I mean, he's, put, he's grown loads of stuff out of seeds. I can't grow anything, even if it's not a seed. I bring it home, plant it, and it just dies. Well, we've got some out there now, some herbs. I don't know what they are, Christine will have to tell me. Right, anyway, where am I up to? Funnions. Oh, for about two minutes, that's about in about ten. Right, so we're adding some wine to the pan now. We're, uh, when it says add wine, it doesn't tell you that you're not supposed to put any in that, which I did before. So we're adding that. And, uh, well. So then we're cooking that off a little bit wine. So I scrape the brown bits off the bottom but I don't know why that's relevant really. I mean this is a family show. I mean I a couple of clean guns but I mean what's yeah so I scrape the brown bits off the bottom. Oh that's another thing as well I want to show you. I got pulled up, didn't I, about me taking, um, testing my temperature. I don't know if you've seen that one on the Master Baker. Apparently, it was inappropriate. Um, so now I've had to buy one of these. So. Oh shit, I've got it on the pan. Hang about. Thirty-three point four. That's not bad, is it? So I mean, the weather's not been too good this weekend. Otherwise, we would definitely have had people round, like family. I'm going to say like family, not exactly family people that like family. Um, and I would use that as they come through the door. <laughs> Temperatures above 38, do one. I don't care who you are. Right, where am I up to? So I've done that. Scrape the brown bits off your bottom and mix with the sauce. Mix in with the sauce. Mix in with the... Well, it's, you can't put that in the sauce, can you? Because it's in a jug. They said, don't give you proper instructions, do they? So, mm, I don't know how, how you with mustard. I mean, I like French mustard. I like Dijon mustard, which is in here. Um, English mustard. Ooh, it's a wee bit strong for me, that. Right, so we're bringing this to a simmer now. Oh, 
Gott. I think. I'm going to have to go down to the cellar in a minute and get another drink. And cook bacon, cook bacon. Cook bacon. So I'm whapping the cooked bacon in now. Yeah. I hope it tastes nice, this. Can you drink this hand sanitizer? Got health going down it? Where are we? Can't see that. Oh, can you see me from over there? Suitable for all skin types, mild enough for all the family. Well, the worst comes to the worst, and I run out, I'll have to drink that. My hands are clean, I keep washing them. Right, so anyway, I've whapped the potatoes back in here, and I'm going to whap the chicken in now. I think that's it. I've put the oven on, 170 degrees fan. Oh, I'm running out now. Don't know what I'm going to do. Chicken and potatoes. <coughs> right. Chicken, chick, 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 chicken. Now you see, this is going in the oven now. In a moment, too. Now it says 40 to 45 minutes, but that is for chicken thighs. Now I don't even know whether they say boned chicken thighs or what. Uh, yeah, skin on and bone in, you see. So that's where you fat from the skin and the bone in. Well, there's no way I get away with that with Christine. So, anyway. It says 40 to 45 minutes. Now this is chicken breast. This is not going to take that long. The only problem might be my tatties. So you have to sprinkle your bacon over the top of that. So now what I'll see now then. Obviously I weren't so stupid. I do know that two halves make a full one. And um, what I've done is one end of the bacon is fatter than the other, so I'm using this now to sprinkle over here. So when it's cooking in the oven, the fats will help it to... Oh, I haven't cut that one. Bad man. It's supposed to come into little chunks, you know what I mean? Diced. How did I get in there? Right, so... I might show you that before it goes in. Can you eat raw bacon? Is it like meat? Wait. You have it blue. It's like Josh. Still mooing. So let's just uh, I'll give you a quick look at that. So that's what it looks like before it goes in. Alright. Oh, it says to 40 to 50 minutes. Well, we go to the oven. And it's left uncut, uncovered. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this for 30 minutes and then check on it and then oh, I've made a bit of a mess here uh, I'm out of things to drink think about it, I think I've found uh, some summer. No. Just not 
cold enough. Started with balsamic vinegar in the cupboard, and I don't know why I put white wine in there. Uh, we've had it for a while. That'll do. I'm going to put that in your fridge in there. And drink it before she knows it's gone. Right, well, 30 minutes have gone by. I've been upstairs uploading um, Day 76 Norfolk Broads lockdown video. Check that out, won't you, if you haven't already done so. Well, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're already... A... Well, you will have checked that out, because by the time I've sorted this one lot out, it'll be... Oh, I need a drink. So, this is what I need to talk to you about. Play me at my own game, that one. Last night on the video, uh, the Zoom, Zoom, I think, um, we had this one bottle of Old Peculiar left in the fridge. And I said, I'm sure that's mine, is, is it not? She, she said, no, it was hers, and that I cannot drink it. And, well, my family, who was on the call, Confirm this. I threat. I think I threatened to hit her over the head with something really, really heavy. Um, all peculiar. Yeah, it's Thetsons. That's that's all my outside of the, the glass, obviously. But oh, it's really nice. I don't. I know me some of the softy cousins. They're not into real air like that. Well, why would they be? They drink my all the time, don't they? Uh, oh no, Mark, what was Mark, what was he on last night? Um, Aspel, uh, Aspel cider, which I do, I don't like that, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about <coughs> I think that bottle of wine's on it. <coughs> um, yeah, Mark was on Aspel's Imperial, but he'd done that much of it, he couldn't give us the right name, and Lucy, Paul's daughter is trying to find out the percentage of it. Anyway, it turns out it's 8.2%. That's like, ooh, no, too strong. This is like 4.5, I think, something like that. In fact, I'll actually check that now. All peculiar. Where are we? Ooh, 5.6%. No wonder. Anyway. I'm here to tell you, 30 minutes has gone by and I've been upstairs, like I say, uploading day 76, blah, blah, blah. And, um, uh, the alarm went off, checked it, potatoes are not quite cooked. And it looks like it's drying out for me. I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to, uh, I think the taste will be there, won't it, in the you know, bloody flavours and everything, hopefully. I know we'll see in a bit. But there's no sauce in there, it's all sort of dried up a bit. Well, not all. So, we put it on for another 10 minutes, and Christine's put some extra special smoked garlic fugas. Fugas? Prepared with slow fermented dough and finished with smoked garlic and herb oil. All right. So fugas, fugar, fugar. How's it pronounced? I don't know. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, hang about. I've got another drink somewhere. I have to turn you off when I go and get that. <laughs> I almost forgot I brought it out of the cellar. I'll, I'll put it Original Spice Gold. 
main thing is. Gotta be careful. What's this in all money? Actually don't tell you on it, is it? No. But I can't drink much of this. Cause I've got that and that's all. It's like Mmm. Oh actually that makes that taste a bit nicer. Oh shit. Come on camera if you want. No, I'm not Can't see you from there, I don't think. Right, so yeah, right. Uh, I'll turn the camera off until we've got it on the plates. Well, it's not quite on the plate, it's still in the pan. But here's the finished product and it was absolutely gorgeous. Now the thing is, I did say, for me there wasn't enough sauce. Now, on the website when you go to there, if you want to make this yourself, there's a slider and you can change it for the amount of people. I suggest with any of those recipes that are on that website, if you look at them, anything that's got a sauce, don't bother um, reducing that because it changes everything basically in the ingredients. So the sauce, I should have left it for five, whatever it was. Um, I think the original quantity was for five, but if you reduce it down to three, like I say, it reduces everything on there. Uh, whereas the sauce could have done with a little bit more I think it's better to have a bit too much sauce and then you can reduce it if need be or um, save some of the sauce basically but anyway it was lovely there it is thank you for watching another one of Dave's master baking sessions uh, it has gone on a little bit long this one but you did get the fishing in there as well catch you next time